Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. The video cut off. I did something by accident. I was trying to scroll down, and it just, like, took a picture and did some weird stuff. But that can also be, like, either I made a mistake or they did the, did it. But, like I was saying, yes. So, yeah, all that talk about them, you know, all the prophets, you know, I, I understand what the prophets were doing, but they did not come to bring you salvation. It's just that simple, okay? So, a lot of people cannot grasp or doesn't want to grasp the idea that Yahushua was literally the living and physical representation of the living word of the Most High. Right? So, he bared, the, he bared it exactly. He was literally the living, walking billboard of the living word. He was the testimony of the living word. Literally. Okay. So that's the reason why scripture says that he is the arm. He sits on the right hand side of the most high. And that's the reason why in the vision I saw uh, the arm of the statue of iniquity, which is statue of liberty. Right. And you have a lot of people who are patriots, you know, so they love, they will die for this country. You know, because they've been brainwashed to believe that this country stands on democracy, sovereignty, uh, patriotism, and all the blah, 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 blah stuff. Okay, they believe that. Right? So they take pride in stuff like the statue of iniquity. Okay? But that arm uh, basically reveals how Satan has used this, like I said, false doctrine to deceive so many nations into believing that he is Lord or he is King and although that may be true to some extent in terms of him having control over the earth right now but it does not mean that he is the eternal King King of all Kings Lord of all lords, God of all gods, the Alpha and Omega, right? He's not any of that. Okay? So, it says, For he shall, uh, verse 2, says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and anguished with grief. And we hid as, sorry, I gotta pick this up to see this, as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs. And carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Yah, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Most High hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her sharers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Most High to bruise him. He had put him to grief when you shall make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Most High shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of 
the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Hallelujah. That's the truth. He don't get as plain as that. He don't get as plain as that. It does not get as plain as that. Okay? So I say to you guys, steadfast, stock up on the word, which is what we need the most, the spiritual bread, spiritual food. Make sure you have enough oil in your lap. When it's time to flee, when it's time uh, to go to war, officially when it's time to go to war, you know, and stop listening, stop listening, stop giving uh, sound ears to doctrines of devils. That's another thing. Stop giving sound ears to doctrine of devils. I'm not saying that you don't have to know your, your, your opponent. But what I'm saying is, is that it's one thing to, uh, to know your opponent, but it's another to actually sit up there and entertain their lies and deceit. How long do you have to entertain it? You know, so we got to stop giving, giving sound ears to doctrines of devils. And there's no such thing as an alternative to the true light. There is no such thing, because there was only one. There was only one. I don't care what anybody says, there was only one. And he was created before the foundations of this world. He was already established before the foundations of the world. He was already in existence before the Most High created the hosts of the heavens and everything underneath that. That's the reason why Satan is a reject. Yep. That's the reason why he is a reject. He has come down and trans. He says, Scripture says that Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. You know, thus, like I said, that arm of the false light. Yes. And anyone, basically, you know how the Most High is the. Uh, you know how the most, basically, uh, Yehoshua is the arm of the Most High. That's basically what, you know, Isaiah is saying. You know, uh, 53. It says, who hath believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Most High revealed, right? So, Satan has a bunch of his minions in uh, office right now, governing this, you know, earth and many nations. And... You know, those people, or people just in general who's had that Antichrist type of spirit, they are a part of that arm of Satan, which is that false light. Okay? So Satan always tries to mimic and mock the Most High. Whatever the Most High does, he always tries to copycat that. Because he knows the only thing that he can actually win, the only area that he can actually win at is doing wickedness. That's why it suits him the best. Because nobody can do it, uh, uh, nobody can do wickedness better than him, and I'm not giving glory to him by no means. But I'm just saying, that's the only thing that he is prevalent, the only area, area that he is prevalent in is wickedness and pure sin, pure uncleanliness. He is the most unclean. So stop giving heed to these doctrines of devils and work, work out your salvation. You can't work out somebody else's salvation because at the end of the day, all you can do is just point them in that direction. That's it. Point them in that direction and say, hey, look, that's where I'm going. If you want to follow, by all means. But it's that way. Because at the end of the day, you cannot lead a blind horse to the well. well you can lead a blind horse to the well, but you can't make him drink. 
and that's just the truth. So stay prayed up, family, and stay in the fight. I know it's hard for all of us who's being persecuted. You know, we got to go through it because Hamashiach did it. He did it so that we can endure it. And it's only because he did it that we can go through this. You know, it's only because he did. Because if he didn't, if the Most High didn't send him, okay, so that we may be able to repent through him for the remission of our sins, we wouldn't even be here. There would be no Holy Spirit, there will be no nothing. No remission of sins, nothing. Nothing like that. So, I encourage people to get to know, you know, the Father on your own. Get to know His Son. And I pray that, you know, those who really truly want to come, or who truly wants to submit to Him, that you really truly submit. Because He wants to see us submit. He likes to be worshipped. He loves to be, um called upon he loves to be consulted and he's a keeper you know he's not a cheater like satan nothing like him he's a keeper the most high abram isaac and jacob is a keeper and i pray that those who want salvation you repent so that she can get grafted in or grafted back into the most high sublime covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I'm going to clock out. I love you guys. Stay prayed up. And stand no matter what they put you through. You better stand. You better stand like a soldier. Because we are soldiers in the army. And we have to fight. Although we have to cry. And we got to hold up the blood stain banner. We got to hold it up until we die. Peace and blessings. Love y'all.